Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. So these are the moldable customizable earplugs you've always wanted from Decibels. Let's have a look. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase these earplugs from Decibels, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Alright, here's how I ran into these awesome earplugs from Decibel. So I think it was SHOT Show Industry Day 2019. I got fitted for these and I was kind of skeptical as to how good they could be because they're so affordable. I'm like, how can it possibly be customizable and moldable and still be super affordable? And, uh, you know, the person helped me mold it to the shape of my ear. And uh, once I got it in there, it was like the entire world went silent. Keep in mind... In this true dead shot show, there are tons of firearms going out, and for the first time, without having double ear protection, meaning foam and earmuffs, it went silent. Let me show you how to set these up. Really quick before showing you what's in the packaging, I just want to show you how this fits in your ear, right? So when you get it molded, this is the one for my left ear, so it plugs in this way. And you can see just how perfectly shaped and molded it is to the shape of my ear. You know, down to the bowl area right in here, to that, that kind of foldy portion, that pointy portion that hooks into your ear. It is incredible how well these work. All right, let's unwrap the green ones. All right, here is what the earplugs look like before they're molded. There's one for the right ear, one for the left ear. And just to give you an idea of how hard these are, <laughs> that's what they sound like and feel like before you get them in hot water. All right, so here are all of the parts that come in this neat little carry case. But before getting started, it should be noted that you are the one that is responsible for making sure that these seal correctly. Now, knowing that, my best recommendation is to slowly test these. So maybe go in your car, blast the radio, then when you're at the range, just kind of creep your way in there just to make sure that you have a good seal. Remember, if you don't have good ear protection, all it takes is one good blast to ring your ears and really damage your hearing. So make sure you test these before going full blown out to the range. All right, let's start from the top here. They give you two rear plugs and those just plug right in the back of the earpiece itself, as you can see on that, all right? Then on the left side, you have your foam ear plugs. These will give you 31 decibels of ear protection. Then on the right, you have your single flange silicone ear plugs. This will give you 25 decibels of ear protection. So the foam ones give you more ear protection. Of course, you have your two ear inserts. And if you're a little bit forgetful and you think you're going to lose each individual piece, they do give you a lanyard. So instead of using those rear ear plugs, you can use these instead and hang them around your neck. All right, let's piece these together. All right, I brought you in a little bit closer here so we can have a better look at these parts here. Now, what we're going to do is start eliminating the pieces that we don't need. So according to decibels, a majority of the people are going to fit the medium sizes. So I'm going to remove the foam small and large and the silicone small and large. Now, for the fitting procedure, it's important not to use the foam plugs. You have to use the silicone ones. So I'm going to put those on the side. Now, to insert these... You're going to make sure that you put a thumb on the back of the portion or the plug here because it can be pushed out. So you want to stop it from pushing out that way. And then what you're going to do is just push and pinch down on this. And then you're going to push it on here like this. And you want to make sure that you do get it on pretty good. All right. That feels like it's on. And it's going to give it a little bit of a tug like that just to make sure that it's in. Because what you don't want to happen is for you to put this in your ear and have that stuck in there. Okay, that looks like it's in there pretty good. You can kind of see what that looks like. And then you're just going to put the back plug in here. Okay, I'm going to do it for the other side, and I'll get the boiling water ready, and we can start to push this into my ear. All right, while the water's getting ready, this is the strategy we're going to use. After we remove this from the hot water, we're going to make sure that it's cool to the touch by touching it on our face, just to make sure it's not too hot. Then once it's in our ear, this is the right side, we're going to start pushing right here on the rear plug and mashing the center portion down to seal it on the inner portion. Now, once you have a good seal there, you're going to start to smooth out the edges into the folds of your outer ear. All right. And then once you got that shape, you just let it harden. All right. Going to pour that boiling water into two separate glasses. 
Now, if you are going to use the same or one glass, don't put both in at the same time because they're going to stick together. So it's best just to use two separate glasses. Uh, so there goes the right side, and here goes the left side, and we're going to wait five minutes. See you guys in a bit. All right, that should do it. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to fish this out here, and still pretty hot, so I'm going to let it cool for just a little bit, and it does feel a little bit gummy. Now, if at any time when you're inserting this and trying to mold it, if any piece of it feels hard, just dunk it back in there, soak it for another two to three minutes so that it's all soft. And I think a good technique to have for this is to use, I'm going to put this back in for just a second, is to use the pads of your fingers and stretch them out, like press down in your ear and then just kind of stretch it out that way. So let's see if this is cool enough now. Put it back in there. Nah, it's still kind of hot. All right, I'm going to let that cool and then shape it to my ear and show you what that looks like. Really quick, I just want to show you what it kind of feels like. It's like uh, kind of like chewing gum when it's been chewed too much. Yep. All right, I'm going to fit that to my ear. I'll be right back. And here is the final product. I'm going to see a lot of consistencies between, you know, these and the orange ones. And they're back to being rock hard here. So let's see. This is my left side. And here is the left side that I got in 2019. You can see that it's just pushing it in. Now, I was able to push in a little bit more because I was doing this myself. Again, you're going to push in. To your head and then pull out and just kind of smooth it around with the pad of your finger but look at the consistency there and i've also replaced the silicone with the foam i'm telling you guys right now with the foam inserted into your ear canal and of course you want to make sure that it's not hitting your eardrum but you can wear these all day and they're so comfortable okay so there's the left side and here is the right side you can see here again very similar but because I put these in myself, I can just smash it in there a little bit more, go a little bit deeper into the bowl area. Uh, you also want to make sure that you don't have any piercings in your ear because that's going to cause leakage of sound around the edges and it's going to snag into this gummy material when it's, uh, when it's still flexible. Let me see if I can get some shots of what this looks like when it's molded in your ear. All right, guys, sorry about that weird camera angle, but you can see here, all you got to do is start to push with your fingers that mold and it's look how nice that is it fits so perfectly in the ear now if you do wear glasses that has a uh, an arm that hooks around your ear they do recommend that you wear them while molding it in there because that can pull on your ear but check out that fit that's pretty cool but that's what it's going to look like when you're done molding it in your ear well all right guys this has been your review of the decibels ear plugs and they're affordable, customizable, moldable, and most of all, comfortable. You can wear them all day. Remember, if you want to purchase these guys, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.